Hello, friends. Daniel Dwyer here. Mr. Ty Root. Hey, Good Dan. morning. Good morning, my friend. How are you? Let's go to London. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Let's start our work week by going straight to London. Uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate is out this Friday, for some reason. Um, uh, we have a copy of it here on uh, PlayStation 4. I've been playing a bit of it over the weekend. You've been playing as well, I right? was, yes. Uh, uh, never got out of Whitechapel. You never did. Well, nope. I did a bunch of exploring, and we're going to do a bunch of exploring today. Uh, this is about, let's say, 90 minutes into the game. We've uh, already completed the tutorial levels, which were a little bit heavy-handed for me. They were, they were, they were boring. They went on a long yeah. time. You know, and uh, they're kind of too bombastic. I felt like lots of like a train gets derailed and all this stuff, and you're like, yeah. all right, just calm down, video game. Calm I, down. I kind of see what they were trying to do there. Yeah. Like, let's make the tutorial interesting, yeah. but it, it just kind of went on way too long. But there's loads but, of footage of stuff yeah. out there already. So what we decided to do is we're going to get in here, do a couple mm. of levels in Whitechapel, just show off some of the missions, uh, and then just sort of explore. Because yeah. I used to live in London. You've just come back from a trip in London. Yeah, our our area of where well, our former office is. We can go. We can go visit Southwark right now. We can now. go visit Gamespot UK right yeah. now. Uh, so let's jump right in. We're, we're going to have a basically look around uh, the various parts of London, uh, and it's 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 like kind of surprisingly accurate. It's I'd impressive. Say. They did a really good job. Uh, Whitechapel up here is where mm. you kind of start off. You end up you start the game in like Croydon or somewhere down south, and then it sort of it transports you up into the rest of town. Uh, so like St Paul's is here, uh, Liverpool mm. Street, and all that's over here. Like I think we've got London Bridge. Like Southwark kind of is a like it's all very compressed, but like it's pretty accurate. Uh, like Waterloo stations here, Waterloo Bridge, Westminster, Big Ben's here, Whitehall. You've got you know Victoria Park, Green Park, Buckingham Palace, uh, Charing Cross. Like it's all kind of there and around. So where do you want to go first? Uh, let's. Let's just start in Whitechapel. Well, let's just go to Southwark eventually okay. at some point. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's let's go for a little walk. So I'm playing as yep. Evie Fry, who is one of the two uh, protagonists in this game. Her and her brother, Jacob. Uh, Jacob. Uh, so you can actually swap between the two of them, which I didn't realize you could do uh, before we before uh, we got the game. Um, yeah, any point so you want. You can I, just hit right. Hit right R3. trigger, and it like straight up like. Like GTA 5 style. Oh, right, all right. Boom. They're actually in the same place. Last yeah. time I did it, it kind of transported me a little bit. Um, but I'm going to stick skills. it. You should use your skills, man. Oh, I have not updated my skills yet? No, you got to use your skill points. Uh -huh. You have seven skill points. Oh, my God. Let's do it. Yeah. You can show off some of the skills then at that, at that stage. Yeah, it's, it's great. So all these ones at the top are yeah. the ones you start with. They're all your basic thing, like whistle and knock people the fuck out. So <laughs> the best one, by the way, that I love, <laughs> what? you got to use the automatic pickpocket one. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's if you this assassinate one here. somebody, yeah, yeah, loot takedown or whatever. It's it saves you so much time. Stops it's you great. having to hold a circle button for about fifteen hours. And then double assassination is great. Uh, I went for Eagle Vision too at one stage because it gave me if you can look through walls straight away. Some of these are pretty powerful actually, right off the, right out the gate. Yeah, um, and they're different for each. Like that's, these are Jacob's skills. If you wanted to apply them to Evie, you have, you can do it differently. Yeah, and they do kind of play differently. Yeah. I'm gonna get this one. Like she, he's a lot more of a. Like a bruiser, and well, she's a lot more like stealthy. It's the Hollywood trope of like the brother oh, yeah. is like the reckless, you know, crazy one. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kick people's off. I'm just gonna fuck everyone up. Come here, then, yeah, what are you doing? I can't actually beat people up. No, which is a bit like. And then Evie's like the one that has common <laughs> sense, who's like child. a cat. The brother's like this kind of child murdering crazy <laughs> person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot children. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Uh, there are hay bales, or rather. Leaf bales, bales, which is pretty... Makes more sense. Yeah, I don't know. London gets pretty leafy. Yeah. Um, and I will say, it's kind of impressive how big this world is, and how, like, look, there's St. Paul's in the background. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of yeah. cool. I've gotten to big, uh, I guess, high points in this game and really enjoyed looking around. So should we just, like, should we go down to Southwark and then maybe, like, make our oh, way big around ben. to Big Ben? Yeah? Yes, of okay. course. Yeah. Let's see it. All right, so we're Evie here. Let's, for the sake of all our... Uh, London friends, but go past St. Paul's and then maybe cross. I'm guessing the this is the Thames. <laughs> this kind of looks like London Bridge, but I, I don't know if it is because it's a train. It's not Tower Bridge. Is that before it got shipped off to Arizona? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> they sold the wrong one. It was the. Oh, was, was it the, the wrong one? It was the other one way around. Yeah, Tower Bridge is the other one. It's yeah, they sold London Bridge, I think, or to Lake Havasu. Yeah, and it ended up like they yeah they got they had the buyer's remorse. Yeah. Um, Streets are real wide as well. Yeah, they made them a lot bigger for the carriages, and I was <laughs> impressed by the uh, like the carriages even like they drive on the left side of the road, and it's just like everything. <laughs> it was even confusing Woo. for me. I was like, oh shit, oops, I forgot him in London. And we can you can just straight up jack one like yep. GTA style. Get out of the way, horse! Don't make just me shoot you one. like I shot that child. Pull that guy off. Uh, let's go. To, uh, this guy's facing the right way. 
Uh, the one thing is, so we're in White Chapel at the moment. Everyone, it's like the whole city is run by goddamn Templars. They're not really Templars. I guess they're like a, a gang. And you're setting up your own gang to try and take over that gang. Yeah, the plot starts with, with Evie and her bro. They're just basically like, we need to free London of Templar control. And we'll do that through gang violence. We need, yeah, I know. We need to free London of Templar control and in like put it in assassin control. Yes. It's like, like a perfect gang. Uh, movie mentality. The lines are so blurred at this point. You have no idea who's <laughs> right and who's wrong. You're just like you just go with it. And you meet a bunch of people like there's like uh, Charles Dickens, Charles Dickens, and Charles it. Darwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Florence Nightingale. All, really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh my god. Okay. This is great. It's like a who's yeah. who. Uh, Alex, uh, Gr Alexander Graham Bell. Oh really? Yeah. Is in this. Man, you AGBs in here? AGB. Uh, the one thing I found though, <laughs> they've made the the, car, the the streets way wider, but I still end up like tearing these oh. horses into like. I like when you knock over street lamps. In yeah, your all carriage. the time. Yeah, like to the point where at one stage I was driving around thinking, I bet at one stage the development team thought, let's just take out all the street lamps because you just keep crashing into them oh, yeah. all the time. Constantly. Uh, so we're at we're at St. Paul's. If you do you know do you know anything about St. Paul's? No, Cathedral? nothing. So St. Paul's Cathedral is lesson. it's it's like the sort of the the the, the royal cathedral, like Anglican like, Protestant cathedral in, in London. Okay. But it, there's a there's basically this law where there are a bunch of it, it's like a protected skyline. So you have to be able to see St. Paul's from a bunch of places. No matter where you are. Yeah, so there's a reason why uh, a couple of the, like, say, the expansion of the, the, the bank by Liverpool Street is like, Small, the, is like, well, it's off to that side. Yeah. You know, they build, like, some skyscrapers in Southwark, for instance. So St. Paul's is, like, basically a massive viewing spot in London. I so, noticed a lot of places in Europe have, like, these weird rules where you can't build tall buildings around old buildings. Yeah. Yeah. Because you wouldn't be able to see them. Yeah. Although... We'll see if the view up here is actually pretty good. This is set in like, what is it, like 1850s eight, 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 or something? 1868. Okay. Because, yeah, because there's, there's a couple of little monuments that I was like, oh, that's not in the game for some reason. And then I looked yeah. them up and they had actually been built afterwards. Um, so, like, climbing these is, like, not difficult. Like, I'm basically just holding up. Like, it's yeah. what I liked in some of the early Assassin's games was the like, <laughs> difficulty in climbing some they stuff. They just fly now. They yeah, float up. Now it's like, whatever. It's and it's like, like, who cares? And instead of eagles, I think they're like pigeons or seagulls or something, which is pretty good. There's nothing even up there. Look at that shit. Yeah, there's no. Th For some reason, some of the things don't have synchronization points. Like uh, it's, I got that's to, the weird part, by the way. I, like I don't think Big Ben has either, or rather the clock tower. Can you even see Big Ben? Yeah, there? it's over there. See above my right head. There, okay, yeah. Like there's there. a distance. There's Charing Cross Station. You can tell it's the Industrial Revolution because we're polluting the earth right now. Yes, and because look at how busy that. That looks unsafe. That's super. There are too many boats in the Thames. I think that's London. The Thames. The Thames. The, the what? The Thames. I like to say Thames. Thames. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Can you see a, a pile of leaves anywhere? I can jump. No, you to. can't even jump. Wait, go oh, the oh, other look way. Look down there. Look down there. That's it. I can see it. I've actually gone too high. So I can use circle to do my stealth, get the fuck down button. You know, like I like. Oh yeah, you see it right now. Stealth descend. I like the. Uh, which is a little yeah, sticky. it's cool. There there's is. there's the eagle. All right, let's do our little synchronization button. I take it back. There is one. Synchronize. La, la, there you la, go. La, la, la. The standard Ubisoft trademark. Find to a tall building and mm. synchronize and find everything. And she's like, wow, rent here is expensive. I'm going back to Croydon. And there's lots of these dollar signs on them, which I wonder if you're able to, like, shops? <laughs> yeah, you could just go to Hamley's just say, and spend it. a shitload of money. Yeah. I think you can, like, buy stuff and then, like, I think you're going to be buying up um, real estate yeah. for your few dudes. Let's do a little jump. Just here. jump. There she Ooh, goes. that's close. That's real close, Evie. She'd be Close dead. for comfort. I mean, she'd be dead. That's not even realistic. We're not even the whole <laughs> shit. I... We're not even the whole way down. No, the, like it, I've still it, got loads left to do. But it that's... is a free run down. Like which I love this Unity. part of it now. The free run down thing is my favorite thing they've added. I mean, <laughs> since Unity, I think it's great. It's super handy. Oh, there was one. I'm an idiot. There's one right there. It's fine. I better jump into it just for prosperity. Yeah. Whee! Leaves are fun. Leaves are fun. You were jumping leaves as a kid. Yeah, all the time. I still do now, yeah. which is weird, because then the they kids don't... are doing it too, and they're like, who the hell are you, old mommy, man? Mommy, mommy, save yeah, me. Yeah, get, get away from the man. Who's the scary like Irishman it's a tradition in, in Ireland, don't worry about it. Deacon's Hi. soap. Abbott's best cocoa powder. Uh, so yeah, there's a, there's a big element of like British imperialism and like the, the empire. Mm. Like one of the main uh, people you meet in the game is a British Indian, like second generation, uh, who helps you a lot. And there's lots of like, you know, the, the well, like, you know, the sort of like, 
I guess, the expansion of the British Empire. The idea, the idea of London being so prominent at this stage in history is like the reason why this game is here. You know, like if you, what is it? There's a line early in the game: if you control London, you control the you world. You control the world. You know? Yeah. It's like whoever controls the spice controls Dune. Um, <laughs> let's let's get our asses down here. I don't even know what train station that is actually. Um, let's uh, let's let's cross the river. What's your star rating? Cost after you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this actually, I do know where this is. This is, oh god, that guy's not very happy. And that's the thing, like, I mean, it's just... <laughs> Get out of the way! Get out of the way, stupid you Londoners! You can do whatever you want in this game, it does not matter. Like, no one comes after you. Like, you even see, like, those red bars above the gangsters who are after you currently. Yeah. Because you're making a ruckus, but, like, they don't care. Yeah, and, I, I, like, I'm not yeah. really sure how good, like, after playing Metal Gear Solid, this game is a real... Yeah, like, it's stealth. A, yeah, yeah, stealth-wise, it's kind of like, it's so low... <laughs> Like, I was just crashing into people. But, like, yeah. if people see you, you just beat the crap out of them until they're dead. That like, was the one although, thing I, Although this is early, so maybe it's maybe it's just a little bit not challenging at the moment. I will give them a lot of credit here in terms of, like, beating the shit out of each other because they're... I, I, I don't know what studio... Uh, what Ubisoft studio made this, I but... it's Quebec. Um, is it Quebec? Okay. Thing, I think. So they did a good job of, like, remembering that, oh, yeah, this is... 18th century, or this is a uh, industrial revolution. L London, nobody has swords anymore, hanging off to their side. <laughs> yeah. Everyone has concealed handguns, and they beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, it's so like it's, a brawler. It's mostly know? fist fights, yeah. uh, and then every once in a while somebody pulls out a shiv or something. And like, and the cool thing about Evie, and I think Evie especially has like the cane. Yeah. So she hides it, and then she beats the fuck out of people with well, the cane. We should get into a fight because I, I, like, yeah. I feel like at least right now it's so, like it's super button mashy. In it a way is. that like is, is kind of well because it's all like fist it's all fist fighting practically yeah, but like it's fist fighting in Batman as well but yeah. at least there's some degree of like hey, ooh look let's go in here what is this London World News it's Godfrey and Cock Limited see <laughs> I'm telling you does right that now. remind you of London <laughs> yes of course ooh Hebbingtons London's finest teas mm, let's go in <laughs> I haven't been in a building yet I, I will say one thing the HDR in this game is rad look look how bright it is yeah, outside it's and very it's like, Oh, getting some Bioshock Infinite. And then boom. Here. This kid's like, oh, why'd you look, why'd you look down the light post, lady? That's it. My London accent's great. You're hey, better than me. Boy, he better than me. Hello, sir. Get a drink. Get a pint. I'll have one of your finest ales, or I'll stab you in the face with this knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Desynchronizing. Desynchronizing. Better get out of here. All right. I like how you threw a knife in his face. I really, well, it's London, mate. It's, yeah. You know, we don't I have, mean, this is... Don't have guns, but... It's it's just, it's... Knife crime. Big Ben. Yes, do, do you want to climb up, Big Ben? Let's climb up. Well, yeah. God, look look at that. Look how many boats are in that river. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Like, if, you, like, if you've been in London and... and like, it's you've, never, you've just, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's like, not bad at all. No. It's like there's no boats. <laughs> None. I remember once there was like a whale. I wonder if that's historically accurate. I wonder if there I, were I, that many boats I, back then. I bet it was. I bet that's why London was like such a like popular, like a big t trade town. Because it had this like big, massive river that like yeah. opened up. Because like, London's really in, like it's quite in, uh, what would you say? Like, not, look at these, okay, look at these, look at these guys. What are they doing? The people in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Like some I zombie shit. Like, like, hey guys, let's go. Oh, on. he's a bad guy. Okay, so now you can, you can. Oh no, get in a fist fight. Oh, get in a fist fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show them the fist, the the fist of cuffs combat here. Okay, Come so on. some. I, I just want to like. I kind of want to make a point about it. somebody. I think it's maybe jarring coming from Metal Gear Solid, but some of the AI and like the combat uh, mechanics in this game is a little bit funky. Like, what is going on here? So they like if you <laughs> right click, yeah. you clearly see they are they are bad guys. There's there your you eagle go. vision. He's in num the number three. I don't know what that means exactly. Does that mean like you have to be number like they recommend level three to oh maybe maybe fight them? I actually them? don't know. Yeah. Let's try it out. Like the fact that their bodies just died and they're like ah oh, whatever. Yeah. Hey what's up? And then they look. See and then they recognize you're like wait who are you? Oh my god. Oh that's right. You can beat the crap out of women in this game. Well you're a lady as well. Yeah I know. Look she's got the cane. Did you? What did you do to her? Bam bam bam. So if you I'm basically just mashing square here. Oh, I yeah. stopped her. I stopped her. Oh okay okay. And there's, there's a couple of different types of, like, if he blocks himself, I can... You'll see the counter indicator, like, like it'll like, turn yellow like that, and you I'm can like, counter. But you don't even have to, you can just mash, like you said. Well, oh. if, yeah, the counter thing, or if you, uh, if, if they block themselves, you're able to, you have to hit this button to um, basically break through their defense. But, like, the weird thing is... Can is you fault in him now? No. The weird thing is that they telegraph it, so, like, it literally comes above their <laughs> oh head. God, that person is just like... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, cool. Um, it literally like it comes up X over them. Yeah. So it's kind of like oh, there's body in there. A lot of it feels like it's almost automatic, which is a little bit whatever. But 
Oh no, I want to throw no, no, them. Throw them in the river. Sorry. Like so many shopping carriages, I will throw this gentleman into a river. Oh, oh. you couldn't get over the. That's my fault. That's my fault. You can get her. She's Evie's strong. These people are get like, oh, it's stupid traffic. Look, would you <laughs> get off the ground? You numpties. There you go. Oh, no. No. Not, Maybe the not big guys. It. Try it. Clearly, you have to move the body so the carriages can get by. You know, I really should have got that automatic loot. You should have. Right. Well, only when you assassinate people do you actually get to loot them. Wow, you really cannot throw people <laughs> over the ledge there. That is super sad. It's okay. my, sorry, it's my fault. It's my fault. I mean, at least maybe the brother can, because he's like he's stronger. He, actually, no, they're the same. They're the same height. They are actually the same height. Yeah. He is a little bit stronger though. So, but I like the fact that she has this cane and she's she's a lot more nimble and and generally, as characters, I way prefer her because the brother's kind of an idiot. Well, he's like that stereotypical. Like again, we were talking about this. Like it's like the the brother and sister, and the brother's the reckless yeah. kind of crazy. Just I'm gonna fuck everything up. Yeah, and then and then she's, she's the one that has common sense. Yes. She's just like, no, we don't have to go that way. Yeah, we don't have to be. A, we don't have to be crazy. A bumbling idiot. Uh, yeah. So here we are at um, at uh, at Westminster, uh, and Big Ben is above us. Let's go climb Big Ben. Let's do it. We can't climb Big Ben because Big, you know what Big Ben is, Ty. This is like. The, the first piece of London trivia every person's ever what told. Is, uh, what is the real Big Ben? Big Ben is the bell. The bell, It's Got not it. the clock tower. Not the clock tower. No, Big Ben, but we can get up and see Big Ben. Okay, then clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. So I think it's just called... I've been calling it Big Ben tower. my entire life. So everyone does. Okay. So that's like this weird piece of like, that's the most boring piece of information you tell, no, trivia you tell every tourist who comes to London. Did you know Big Ben isn't actually the clock tower? <laughs> it's the bell tie. Look. This, I'm not climbing on the face of Big Ben right now. That's pretty good. I wish I, could, I should, we should wait around until it's like the hour. Yeah. Why is, why is she moving? I'm not even, what's happening? Are you, is she just, can, she was just doing that all on her own. Okay. That was weird. The, the game has become sentient. <laughs> like there's Big Ben. Uh, yeah. Oh shit. Jesus. Evie, calm down, calm down. Evie, calm down. Just get, walk down. Just. Great. By okay. the way, that is one thing that annoyed me is That's it's when you want to get inside of a place when you're climbing up something, it's very difficult sometimes. Yeah, it's a little bit it's an awkward. Yeah. I was gonna throw so a knife Big ben. Got it. and see if I could, but can I don't actually it? have any knives left. Sorry. They, I fenced, used, they <laughs> fenced off Big Ben, so you can't ring the bell. I, I used all my knives stabbing that shopkeep yeah. in the face. All right, let's get to the top. Come on, let's see the view. I'm not sure if this is the highest point in it the has city. to be. I feel like St. Paul's might have been. Oh, Might be taller. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. You can get there. That's oh, there's a flag up there. Music. There's a little secret thing. Ooh, can I synchronize? Yeah, I think you I, can. I, I think I might have already synchronized up here, actually. Oh, do you get to do it again? Where's the... Look at it. So here we are. This is... Uh, that's, One uh, of the tallest points. Westminster there. Oh, gosh. That's Waterloo there's Station the, over there. The busy river. I wonder if the stacks are down there. Um, yeah, try and cross. There, you can see Nelson's Column in the distance. See, right above Easy's Eze head. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, Trafalgar Square, Nelson's Column. We'll climb that in a second, I guess. There's uh, Vicky Park, there's Buckingham Palace. So 10 Downing Street is basically like there where her head is. So funny, that was the name of a pub where I used to live. D 10 Downing Street? Yep. Really? Yeah, it's wow. what, what we Americans do. I'm really good at just taking names out of London and just saying, that's a pub. <laughs> and it kind of stops up near Green Park. So there's Green Park up here, so like where Regent Street starts, it kind of like that's where it ends. But it goes down the whole way into uh, Lambeth as well down here. And or this no, Lambeth is there, so I I don't I don't know if you're like me where you kind of have Assassin's Creed fatigue right now. But oh yeah, um, yeah. I, I will... Have you seen The Point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's that show? <laughs> <laughs> I love this series, like Assassin's Creed One and Two, and and Brotherhood Damn. are some of my favorite games. No one notices. So yeah. like whatever. I liked uh, Four a bit. Um, I, there was aspects of Three I enjoyed. As I well. wanted to like Three so much because, well, this is the one out. One thing I wanted to ask you, even though I know you're Irish, but mm. it's like when the game takes place in London. Yeah. Like, does that? Make it appeal to you. It more, does. You know? Like it does in a, like I, I lived there for four years. Yeah. I've been here for almost two. Like there's an aspect of like nostalgia. Like I was playing this last night and walking. So we're like walking down Whitehall right now. And you've and, like, been there. Yeah. Like I know this street really well. Yeah. So like that was kind of I have enjoyed that. So I guess that was the sort of aspect of 3D you probably would have enjoyed. Yeah. I think outside of that, like outside of some really like I don't know. I think they've done a good job of constructing a what looks like like a like a real city like a real london but it like outside of the 
the architecture, I'm not sure how Londony this is. I imagine it's going to turn into some Doctor Who bullshit, <laughs> where it's like it's Clearly. like it's like this you know internationalized version of London. Like it's cool. I'm in Horse Guards Parade. Like it's cool that this is like in the game. Well, I mean, the one thing about the one advantage they had now, especially with this time period, is this is after the invention of photography. So they have photos of all this stuff. Like yeah, they can go true. back and look at all this and be like, okay. This is what Westminster looked like back then. This is what this area of London looked like back then. We can kind of recreate it a little bit better. So they've always done a really good job, I think, of recreating these cities. Yeah, and uh, I, I, sorry, I just got a little bit distracted because I think these people are actually playing cricket. <laughs> and you are bothering them. I am. Well, those yeah. security guards over there are like, don't hurt us. I'm going to try and walk away. But I want to see this cricket game. Oh, they're, they're, oh, they're all scared. You. Damn it. Yeah, it's Damn weird. It. I don't under, the gang stuff in this game is Ooh. interesting. Like the so there's an arch that's usually here, a malicious arch or something. I always forget. Uh, and I was like, oh, where's the arch? It's not here in this video game. But apparently the arch actually wasn't built until 1905 or something. So look, Queen's Arms. See, Is that I'm telling you right now, you? that's just a pub. Let's go in and stab the yeah. landlord. Oh, can I have a drink, mate? You know the, you know the, no, all of this swig of this, if you don't mind. I got a skill point. Beer bottles. Ooh, like you collect you beer bottles. You see that? Oh, and you have six skill points available. It just unlocked, a, um, it said you've collected one of four beer bottles in so Westminster. What happens when you get beer bottles? I like that. Well, it's, kind of, it's probably like a find all the pubs in just England. go. In London. Yeah. So it's like a pub crawl yeah. in the video game. <laughs> like, I'm totally okay with that. Um, okay, let's do, lose some more skills then, I guess. Let's see Eevee skills. You haven't had a look at that. Um, I think they're all the same. I think you can just tailor is. Jacob oh, and Eevee right. to be specific. So you have like two different play styles essentially. Like you can have her be like super stealthy, and then you can give Jacob all the combat skills, or you can just do vice versa. Man, I got a lot of skill points. It gives yeah. me a lot of skill points at the gate. Yeah, and that's I think yeah. So now you're level two. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, we're not allowed to show. I think I, we haven't got many restrictions on this stream. Uh, one of the ones is we can't show any of the real world stuff, the like abstergo y stuff. No. Which I am totally okay with, because I hate, you I jump hate in that there stuff and so you, much. Well, they, I mean, they just lost it at that point. I mean, I don't even think they care anymore. Like, I, I'm sure, like, there's the, I, I think as somebody who never completed Unity, uh, I'm missing out on the entire start of it, because it all seems like they're they're starting from a point that I don't know where it is. So I'm, like, totally disengaged with it. So I'm, I'm totally fine with that. I will say one thing, though. At least it's, like, it's kind of hands-off. Like, it's pretty quick. It's basically, like, a cutscene or two, and then you're back in the game. Well, I mean, they, it's the way that starts off... Can we even talk about it? I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's so short and quick. You're, yeah. like, it has to go and... Except, I say, this time you are now with the actual assassins. You're not with mm. the Templars. You're not, like, an employee who's researching a video game. <laughs> um, don't say any more. Which Just was Black Flag, I guess, right? Just that was Black Flag. I think so. Yeah. Um, the story is so convoluted at this point. It actually makes Metal Gear make sense. It's so you were, <laughs> so you were in London pretty recently. Do you know what I'm climbing right now? Um, I've seen that. I don't know what it's called. This is Nelson's Column. So there we're you go. now in um, okay. Piccadilly. Or sorry, not Piccadilly. We're in Trafalgar Square. Look at um, that bird. So let's climb on so top who's of that, Nelson. Who's now. that dude? That's Lord Nelson. Got he, it. He so was, what's uh, the deal with Lord Nelson? He killed a bunch of people in the name of England, so they love him. Okay. They love that stuff. Is he a good guy or a bad uh, guy? I like, don't know. Do he kill good I, people or I bad th people? I don't know. Like, uh, England have this weird thing where they like, they yeah. also like celebrate lots of people who killed a bunch of Irish people, so. Oh. Yeah, they like they love Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell was a bloodthirsty fucking maniac. We're like that in America, maniac. too. We worship. Psychopaths and sometimes oh, really? some aspects of our lives. Yeah. So like it's kind of pretty, you know. Yeah. There's like all this stuff to see. There's like Leicester Square, I think, is in the back. It should be behind there. But that I don't know the, if it was Leicester. If it looked like Leicester Square like that before, isn't it? It's strange to think that like so. You have Charles Dickens. You have Charles Darwin. Yeah. You have Florence Nightingale, and you have Alexander Graham Bell. This game, if you think about it, they have relatives that are still alive today, like that are <laughs> part of the bloodline. Yeah. So they could actually. Go, and go back in time and see their great great grandparents. It's like first LeBron James's family could yeah, do it, and now, weird? now all these folks can do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. Like, I'm a descendant of Alexander Graham Bell. There's my great great grandfather. I, I love the idea of somebody playing this game, like some kid in America playing this game, and then years later going to London and like seeing like the National Gallery. Like, that's it right there. Like, St. You can Ma go there. You can go, like, St. Martin's in the Fields, this Anglican church is literally right there yeah. in London. Like it's- They it's, did a good job recreating a lot this of sort, stuff. Yeah, yeah, this sort of stuff. I feel like mostly the touristy areas. Like I don't think Whitechapel looks like Whitechapel at all. 
like parts of Southwark don't really look like it either. No, um, Southwark looks so different now. So like there's the National Portrait Gallery to our left as well. Like there's loads. This is the, the way this street bends is identical. Like I have been drunk on this corner right here, looking like get, queuing up for an ATM here, <laughs> like more times than I can <laughs> I can tell you. Right here, where all these people are hanging out. This so guy here, that guy I'm like going like up just, to. He's just like, hey, what's up? up? Right now, there's a Barclays machine, where that guy is. Was this before Uber or after Uber? <laughs> yeah. It's Can before you order an Uber a horse carriage. It's That'd before be the tube as well, like because the tube station's right here. Well, so the tube is being built as this is all taking place, but okay. I don't know if we can go down there. Um, yeah, I wonder if there's like later missions or something where you can. The underground was around eight. Well, I think 1868 is the time frame here, so I'm almost positive that they were building the underground at this point. And, it doesn't already exist. And if you are from London and you've watched where I've just walked, uh, yes, this is actually Leicester Square. So Leicester Square used to be a. <laughs> You're calling this the UK tour guide simulator. I know, right? That's exactly what we're doing right here. So this is Leicester Square. It used to be a, a, a garden like this. And then it wasn't, and then recently they've rebuilt it like this. So when I just got back from London, I stayed the there. And there's the cinema. Okay. The big Odeon. I think it's an Odeon. That's right there. Oh, so you stayed here. I stayed you? at Leicester Square. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like that's where I was near. That was my stop on the tube. On the tube, yeah. yeah. So that was it just back there. Yeah. Uh, and then it kind of stops being a little bit London y past here. Like when you walk up towards Piccadilly, it sort of tailors off and it stops before Regent Street. One of my favorite things is if you go up to where Chinatown is. You remember Chinatown in, in Leicester Square? Uh, no. It's like just to the, it's up here. I know it because there's a bunch of really good Irish bars up here to show all the- I think of Chinatown, San Francisco. Irish <laughs> yeah. It's the only thing I can think of right now. So this is where Chinatown is. It's, uh, but Scare it's, the buddies. But it's like owned by all the dudes now. It's like one of their, one of their like gang good. areas go, or whatever. Go after that guy. That guy's, it is. That guy's What's up? shaking shit. Just, he look, he's looking at you. Just get him. Ah, I can't kill him. I can't just stab random people. I can throw a knife at his face. I know, which is weird. You can stab, you can throw knives at shopkeepers. <laughs> shopkeepers, oh shopkeepers! Throw a knife at him. Just get in there, get out. Get Boom. the fuck out of here, love it. It's great. And they don't, uh, have, they don't have mobile phones back then, or 999. No, they can't do anything. So they can't do a fucking nope. goddamn thing. Um, see, I like, remember, it's all true, it's all real life. You have to drive on the left side of the road. Oh, now I know where we are. This is really cool. I keep walking, I keep wandering into little places. Yeah, I drive on the left side of the road. Yeah. Um, this is what's <laughs> happening. I've been Americanized. You've been in America way too long, man. Um, union flags all over the place. Uh, yeah, all right, let's make our way back up to Whitechapel then, shall we? And do some missions. That's fine. Uh, any, any questions from the chat? Uh, any let's requests see here. from the chat? Uh, looks beautiful, la 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 la, why is he running, is it F30 FPS, what is, is the this? parkour, here's, here's a real question, right. is the parkour more responsive than Unity? Um, I, so I it's played, been a while since I've played Unity. I've so played I Unity for like five hours and it feels very similar. Yeah, I think it's very yeah. similar. The one thing that made, the, the one control thing that I felt was coming out of Metal Gear Solid, and a bunch of us talked about it this morning in the office, yep. is that it does feel... Like, obviously, it's not fair to compare two games together, maybe like that, but just as somebody who's been playing a lot of MGS, it does feel a lot more floaty, like, yes. control-wise. It just feels less enjoyable that way, so probably more like Unity. But then, this is a different game. They're, you know, you're moving your character around towards different ends, but uh, I did find that a little bit jarring uh, at the start. Um, 30 frames a second, uh, what's I, it running at? I think it's running at 30. 30, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I obviously don't know for certain, but as I've been playing Metal Gear on my PC for the last 75 hours, right, like, yeah. it does not run like that. So. And it, it looks pretty. It's, I really like the understated color palette. They did a good job. It, it kind of reminds me like London, where it's like... And the, like, you look at the puddles on the ground, they're reflecting the buildings, like, they're, they're doing... Yeah. And then there's the HDR again, like, Lots they're doing a good job. I, I'm curious about the windows, because that's always what I look for in detail. Oh, really? If the windows actually reflect the other buildings <laughs> on the side of the street, because that's what... It, oh, I yeah. think it does. Does it reflect you, though, is the question. And the answer the same is building back there? no. That might be the same building there. Passes yeah, ties so you're, it doesn't off. see you, but it does see the other. It's, I wonder if it it's is It's probably you. harder to see you in terms of like programming that, but look at it. Uh, all right, watch all right, so let me we've, see here. We've got these four missions to take over Whitechapel. We could pick any one of them. So There's you, one where you, um, I saw that one good. The other one, was that one right there? Oh, Spitfield's Market. I'd love to go there. This is just, you just beat the gang leader here. Oh, really? But it's actually, it's cool, it's good. Maybe we should do that. To catch an urchin? I don't know what that one is. That's, that's where I've done all that's, three of those and I forgot what they were. That's but the kid. That's oh, the, the kids. kids, okay, yeah. yeah. So you have to recruit the kids to help you out. And Harold Drake. And then you, you hunt some. Uh... All right, let's go to Spitalfield's Market, first yeah. of all. Um, I've been up here a bunch. This is a, a nice uh, sort of 
It's about as open air market sincere. as you'll get in London. It's it's under, a, it's like open air, but on, not, it, it has a roof. Go on. So, all right, let's use the you jump in front of the train. You can jump on trains. I know that. You jump in front of it. I'm oh, sure look, you can see, jump in front the, of the train. There's uh, the good. I told you how to get there. I like that. Yeah, it's got GPS, man. This is very like the crew, except <laughs> it's just on the ground, so it's <laughs> floating above you. There you go. It's white. Yeah, my way. way. My GPS, my Garmin is telling me to go this way. This is very Whitechapel. These very tight streets. Yeah. Although they're way tighter than this. Go on. Some of the other ones. Um, this is Jack the Ripper territory. I used to live not too far from this part of town. Uh, all right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's that thing? A big stack. A big smokestack. All righty. Let's go do a mission. Since we just spent the first 30 minutes of this arsing about. Which is fun. No, it's cool to show it off. I just you were a great tour guide. I learned a lot about Thank Big Ben you. and everything else, man. You know, great. we don't work on tips, but if you want to leave something in my hat when you're Glad leaving, will. it's it's fine. You know, I'll buy some beers tonight on you. That'd be great. Evie is way more fun to play, though. I will tell you this much. Yeah, so far I'm yeah, enjoying her. I like. Her. Just I just think the other guy's a jerk. Well, it's just <laughs> he's over the top in every way. Okay, here we go. Let's let's break this yep. down. So we gotta we gotta eliminate all blighters. Yep. And free and protect the captured clinkers. So the blighters are the enemy gang that's in this game. And the uh, this isn't the kid one, but you have to pro you have to protect protect the, the. There's like a bunch. Yeah. Is that after, what the clinkers are? Yeah, they're maybe? like a group of people. They actually, I think they end up helping you after this. When detecting the shooters, look at run to the main shelter and call, call reinforcements. reinforcements. You so can actually recruit people to help you do stuff. So that's the look out there, the guy with the little eye icon on him. Uh, and see, so, you have that new perk now, so you can see behind walls and everything else like that, which perfect. is great. So, yeah, very, very useful. So we should yeah. kill this guy first, especially when he's on his own like this. So and so when, now, when you assassinate him, you should. Yeah. See, wait. Did you do the? Uh, yeah. See, you automatically looted him. Oh, great. When you and assassinate those, people, it automatically loots him. And this him, which kid is great. saw, but hopefully he'll shut his mouth. You're fine. And we'll just put this body Hide in the body. here. Just, I think you can put him in there. Yeah. Right. There Don't worry about it. Hey, kids, you saw nothing, all right? taking a dump. Look at all these kids. Where are the parents in this? Oh, that's right. It was all child labor back Orphan. then. Yeah, no. Yeah, you know, the good, the good old days, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I guess I've got nine more of these guys to kill. I kind of want to kill them stealthily if possible. I know, man. Yeah, it's, it's my fault for not... Oh, I've got one life back. Okay. That's all, you long, all you young millennials should like play this game and think back to old 1868 London and how youth worked back then. Yeah, Probably right. didn't complain as much. <laughs> They weren't as entitled. And also, you could just get stabbed by. <laughs> just She's got a throwing knife, and you got five pounds. There you go. Pounds? Oh, it's great to have pounds again. Yeah. I will oh, say they've lots of those chests too. They've lots of money. Like how much cash you got now? She got four and a half grand. Four and a half grand back then. That's a lot. That's a lot for, of money. Count that for inflation. That's you know. like seventy-five million dollars right now. <laughs> yeah. Can I hide another one in here? It's gonna have nope. this massive. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Just hide them all in there. L lovebirds. <laughs> 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 All right, let's uh, let's open this thing. Boom! What do you got? Yeah, nice. You got some chemicals. Oh yeah, there's crafting in this game too. Oh yeah. That's... Like I don't know if that was in Unity. I forgot. I didn't get that far. It's a big but... component of three. I know that. I'm sure it was. The crafting stuff has always been. Let's see if there's any other questions. I'm gonna get for this guy. I'm I don't doing know. Doing a horrible job. Stab. Boom. I'm gonna. <laughs> How many people Just, do you reckon I can fit? I, in I, I throw them all in there. Why not? Because, you know, Metal Gear is really good about that, right? Like, you can't throw, like, three guys in a dumpster. It won't let you do that. <laughs> no, here, I, th I, think, I think that's bad. I think video games should let you do as many people as you can. Yeah, Look, it's, that, yeah you go. Be 50 Put them all in there. In here. Look at them all just hanging out. Imagine the poor kid that has to take a shit who walks in that place. <laughs> 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 so many dead bodies. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, I got seven more of these jerks left. Who else are we going to get? All right. It says eliminate all bites three out of ten, but I don't see I I don't have that many on my map, so I gotta be Oh! Oh no! There's somebody looking at the toilet. Where? That's fine, just kill him. Oh no, he's not. Oh, he's no, in the he's building. Not. He's in no. the building. Okay. Oh sugar. You're fine. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna try and do my my little whistle. I think it's How do I whistle again? Oh no, maybe I can only whistle in certain spots. Let's see if I can kill him when he you walks by. You can past. kill him when he walks by though. Yeah! Eat it! Whoa, Wait, what? What happened? What? Did what? you just fly through the what? wall? Is he on the ground? Is that a cat down there? That's a, or? I think that's a chicken. Oh, a chicken, okay. Where what did he go? To, I, I, he's <laughs> gone. 
he oh, just separated. Ah! <laughs> he's such a good assassin that she just pulled him into a different dimension. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This, don't worry, folks. It's still an Assassin's Creed game. It's fine. Um, one less to put in our murder toilet, I guess. <laughs> I really was looking forward to you putting him in there. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. That's so weird. Put that guy all in right, there. Right. I'm assuming this is like the level you should be to kill this guy, but even though it doesn't matter. Should I just in front of all these people? Yeah, do just... it. That's what I did last I, Last night I did the exact oh, same thing you're doing right are they now. punishing? He's going to kill this person. He's shaming them. Oh, that's, I'm going to shame him. Shame on you. And then you get all his money. And no one cares, right? They're just like, look at you, yeah. and then they run one away. Like, okay. They're like, cheers, love. Oh, no. no oh, no, there's you. a couple of them. That's fine. See, wow. that's where they think you are. And that's and where I am. You. And then you can him to death. Boom, boom, boom. Again, the combat is just button mashing. I mean, yeah, even, it's, it's super button mashing. It's not, even when you do counters, it's, I don't know. Oh, he was going to help. He was going to be on your, yes, the guys in green, usually the ones you can recruit. Right. And then okay. you can, um, they can help you out. And so these fellas haven't even been, you they can, haven't even realized. Did you get your, did you get your double assassination point then? I have. Okay. So I'm going to try and double assassinate yeah. these people, but also one of the things I like, and sort of one of the takeovers from 3, is that the, the trees are also sort of part yeah, of the... Yeah, you can still parkour them. Yeah, I can... Perhaps we can harness the gangs See, now you're in a tree. All. Now you're like Connor. Let's see if I can do a double, a double assassination here. I'm not sure. You have, I think you can. Oh, my bad. I know for one. Maybe can we do it on the ground? Oh, I, if I walked up behind them, I probably could have done yeah. them. But I can throw a knife here as well if I want. She's real wicked go, with Evie. that cane. I got one more of these jerks to kill. Where, where, there he is. where is he? There he is. He's up there. Let's get him from. Let's see if I have any questions. I'm sorry. Yep, 30 FPS on consoles. That is true. Same AC glitches, just that one where Evie made him vanish. Bam! Dead. Dead. Gone. There's a lot of ladies I'm killing. Yeah, well, they Lovely. were part of the gangs. Lady killer. All right, we did it. It's our first little mission. All right, should we rate this? Let's mm. rate this activity. I've been what do doing you that. I've been doing that. I get, I'll be honest, a lot of the intro ones, I gave a one. I did too. All the <laughs> tutorials I gave one stars. I, th I feel like this was, the toilet for me was a good one, but then there was a bug happened. So I'm floating me three, three. like a three maybe, or so a three, three out of four. Five. Maybe a th yeah, it was a bit too easy. I would give it a three. All right. What, I, this is the problem though, like there's not a lot of challenge in this game or any kind of consequence if you get caught or seen. Yeah, so far, I wonder if this is like an early game. And so yeah, you unlocked that area. I will be honest, as somebody who like, like infamous second son, man, unlocking areas of cities is like my weak spot. Like I love that shit. You like that? Oh, so yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, let's go catch some urchins. How about that? That's the kid one. What's happening? You and your brown oh no! He's the gang leader. I would be careful. It's yeah. Rexford yes, Klock or something. Fuck this guy up really easily. You like. It's gonna fight him. Yeah. What oh, the fuck, you get, you get that too, by the way. Oh, really? At some point, yeah. That's the. See now, like they're they're Batman. on your. So they're on your gang now. Great. So this is the combat. Yeah. I'm mashing square. X because it pops over his head. Is like, so you could have countered her, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So the X popped over his head because that's me trying to break through his defense. But like the fact that it even tells you is kind of like. Yeah. It's a little bit. It means that you're like. Concentration levels in these fights pretty low. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's like a personal thing, but like, one of my biggest gripes with how Assassin's Creed has evolved is that you are killing thousands of people in these games. It's like I'm, every video game now at this but, point. Yeah, so. but do you remember Assassin's Creed One and like even two? You so were, one, yeah, was like it made you not do that because if you got into a giant fight with a lot of people, they fucked you up. And yeah. first Assassin's Creed. And also like you were spending yeah. hours trying to get information to kill a single person. person yeah. So. And then it's kind of the same in two, where like at least the people you were fighting were kind of, I don't know, they were army people in a, an invading force in yeah. like, in like a holy war. So, so in that way, you felt like, it, you know, there was a certain amount of like morality justified. Whereas this is just gang warfare. These people are just like, yeah, people. <laughs> so it seems a little bit. Well, the more interesting heinous. thing about this game is okay. So the first Assassin's Creed, I don't even know. I forgot because there's there's I, there's so many Assassin's Creed games. But I remember the one of the ones I played. I believe you're assassinating real people in history. At least uh, the first two. Some uh, some of them are real. Right? Yeah. Some Not of all of them are real, but yeah. some of them are real. You pro oh look, there's your bro. Oh, maybe I'm playing as my bro. Yeah. Um, 
but I believe you can't really do that in this game, or even like some of the newer ones, because if they start assassinating real people, some of these people, like I said, still have relatives <laughs> that are alive. That's a good point. <laughs> I mean, we've killed Cass... Not that, not that you would kill, you know, Alexander Graham Bell or Charles Dickens. But I don't like we've killed Castro in video games, I mean, or attempted to, I yeah, guess. Yeah, but he's kind of an asshole. Dude, there's a game called JFK Reloaded. Yeah. This is oh, it's Clara O.D. Yeah, yeah so this is like the little brat that you have to help and like free her friends. Does she have an Irish accent? Clara. Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. I mean, her name is Clara O.D. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Nope. Well, I She's kind of little. So everyone has these kind of posh accents as well, which is weird. And apparently these there are several factories fries are from Croydon, and I don't think they'd be speaking that large dial, but then who knows? Like, I didn't grow up in 1860s England. Yeah. But they all have the sort of British accent you get in a lot, in a lot of dramas that go in Downton Abbey, and the way large dial people speak. And I hope there's some real gruff, like, she sounds kind of EastEnders. Cockney. I'm late for an appointment. What are these terms? We accept. She's. I like when they just. Pfft. Yeah. Inside, you and me are just gonna start. You know. Yeah, that's. We make deals. That's man. I got swine flu in London once before. I don't. But that's. Yep. I'm, I'm, and this is why the plague broke out. Although it's hands. way before this. Yeah. People still. spitting. Yeah. On their hands. <laughs> all right. I gotta reach the warehouse. So now you get to save all your little friends. I'm gonna do some hot parkouring. See, this happens sometimes when I'm climbing up, and I gotta release X. And then yeah. This is the stuff I don't like, though. And then <laughs> climb up, motherfucker. I and gotta then, go to the side for like no reason. And then getting down is a pain in the butt sometimes. Like you have to assassinate some guy to actually jump off that. I wanted to kill him because he saw me. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa. That clothesline. Whoa, That's that a is stiff a stiff clothesline right there. Jeez Louise, <laughs> what? <laughs> like you can just climb on it. That's great. Somebody put too much starch on those clothes. Yowza. All right, let's. Boom. Yeah, for some reason when you're climbing up, sometimes it just it just stops climbing. Yeah. You just gotta like go left and right. I don't know. It's happened quite a lot. You get stuck. Yeah. What was, there was that DLC, there was a DLC I think for, I want to say three, where like they basically just gave you the ability to fly. In what? In th like, it was like the George Washington DLC maybe? <laughs> I don't even know. But it was like owl, it was like owl mode or bird mode, maybe the chat knows what I'm talking about. Bird mode. And it like basically gave you the ability to basically just fly through the world essentially. Right. And I forgot what it was called. Uh, but. I, I gotta release some kids apparently. Look, I can look through all this shit. I love oh. click, clicking in on the right stick is basically just Shadow of Mordor. Yes. It's to like see somebody. Uh, stealth kill the leader. Although maybe you could do it in Assassin's Creed before Cut. Mordor, I can't remember. All right, so here are some kids. I got to free. I love this. I'm freeing these kids, presumably so they can then work for me. Yes, correct. Like, it's like well, they're going to do something for you, I think. They're going to fucking make shoes. That's what they're going to do for me. Yeah, eagle mode. Maybe that's what it was called. I'm going to kill that jerk. All right. All right, there must be a way in here, except for the front door. Oh, yeah, hey. right there. Hey, guys. They don't even care about you. They don't give a shit. Nope. But everyone is just really easy to kill. Now, hold left trigger and just knife him from there. Oh, we have a gun. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, that wasn't as stealthy as I wanted. No, whatever. I'll use I'll use the, the power. Again, see, no one does shit. Like, yeah. they don't hear anything. They just keep moving. <laughs> Jesus. What if I throw this body down? Maybe that'll... Like, in Metal Gear, if you pick up a guy and throw him, <laughs> he makes so much noise that all the other guards are like, what the fuck was that? Did this guy even notice? I just threw a body down there. You can air assassinate him. So the weird thing I was thinking about, I was talking to my stepbrothers <laughs> over the weekend, and I was... Hello. They're younger. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I was yeah. talking to my stepbrothers and I'm like, yeah. are you excited for this game? Because they have never played an Assassin's Creed game before. Wow, how old are they? Uh, 19 and 21. Okay, all right. So they haven't played any of the older Assassin's Creed. They maybe played Unity, I'm not quite certain. I guess the first one came out in what, 07 or something? Yeah, or? so a while back. That was with Patrice, what's his name? Desolate, um, yeah. Desolate, yeah, who's now doing like, what, that Humankind Odyssey game or something? Yeah, the, the, there is a long story of his uh, troubled problems with Ubisoft. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really curious to see where he takes, that game is still in development, right? Yeah, I know. It, it was, and it's very reminiscent of like the precursors of like all these like, world events yeah. and what And Jade happened. Raymond, of course, who was also instrumental in those games, is now working on a project for EA, EA at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So. 
You're free, children. Go. Anyway, speaking of children, your your stepbrothers. My stepbrothers, yeah. So I'm talking to them. And I, I I wanted to see like obviously I've hit fatigue with this franchise in the mm. series, but I want to know if like other people haven't. Like maybe if like you're new to the series, this is going to interest you a lot. I yeah. don't know. I, and I asked my stepbrothers, I'm like, does this it all interest you? And most of them said that they might check it out, but they're not super fascinated by it. They all want to play Halo. But... Counter attack. Yeah, of course. Halo. This is out on Friday. I'm Halo out on Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. So yeah. two two big games coming out this month. Yeah, I'm interested in that. I wonder if the people in the chat can can Let speak me, I don't to know. that a little like, bit. I'm... Because I know that there's a lot of people like our age that have been in this industry for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> just shut. <laughs> We're tired of this game. Yeah, but that dude was just he was like. too big. I had to shoot him. Look, oh, look at his busted ass arm. That's amazing. Look at that. Because I mean, look the, at this guy's arm. Oh Jesus. Like, again, the chat is filled with people like this who are just like, I just came here to see how bad this game is. Oh, that's not So I'm curious if anyone is actually, like, a, new to this franchise and actually wants to play it and maybe has never played an AC game before. Like, at this stage, it's just, like, what do you do with an unanalyzed franchise to make it interesting every yeah. time? Like, you can... I don't know. I feel like they put so much time and effort into story and... But doesn't... do they really do the story anymore now? After they killed off Desmond, it's like, oh, spoiler. Oh, not Sorry. that, not that, oh. not that stuff. I'm just like the story in this game. They put oh. a lot of time and effort into like assets, like I don't know, like cre creating a lot of. It just seems like so high production value. Like this game obviously involves they, thousands and thousands of people. Clearly put a lot of work into it. Yes, yeah, 100%. but it just seems like it's always in the sort of wrong areas. I don't know. Um, let's let's free some more kids and, and see and then what the win. next mission. That is one more group right there. So we've only been playing this game for like. When you had it for a limited Not even an hour. Yep. So, uh, like, I'm wondering to see how, I guess, how much variety is in this and how much that matters. Because Metal Gear Solid is a game, not to keep, like, banging the Metal Gear Solid drum, but it's a game where, like, you basically do the same, like, couple of missions over and over, over, and over again. Yeah. But it works. Because it's when really you get good. caught, like, when interesting things happen when and you get caught. Whereas in this, when you get caught, um, it basically defaults to a sort of a... And action. usually a game has one, like either the gameplay captivates you or the story captivates you, right? Like in, in great circumstances, both captivate okay. you. But like in Metal Gear, it's all about the gameplay. The story is bullshit. It's <laughs> dumb as fuck. But like in this game, the gameplay and, and the story are kind of like weird, you know? Like I just don't know. So. Nothing's really grabbing me. Yeah. I love the world. I think the world in the this game great. Is, yeah. is really impressive. I think that's why we started off. You know, rate this activity. Uh, like, uh, like three, two. two three, like, uh, yeah. uh, I'm gonna be generous and give it a three. Um, yeah, uh, like I think that's why we started off looking around London because to me that's the most interesting part. Yeah. Um, but you know, this is very early as well. Like, obviously, we'll have a review up, which but will be the 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 full experience. Um, Alexa, Ray Korea will be reviewing this game for you guys. Sweet. Uh, all right, which one, Harold Drake or? Go to uh, Aberlin. Aberlin. Do that. It's on the way. Just do it. Any requests from the chat, actually? Let's we can. Find out. We got the whole of London here as well. We can go fap about if you want. Nothing stopping us. This dude's got a petty fire thing. <laughs> a lot of people just talking crap about this game. No. Oh. <laughs> it, it is interesting, though. Like, I don't know. Assassin's Creed, I would say, was never a game, I think, that was... You remembered it for the gameplay. I think it was always the story that captivated me. I don't know. I think. Did you like it? I mean, no. I mean, well, I, like I liked. I liked Patrice's stuff and like, uh, and obviously Sands of Time and Prince of Persia and stuff. That was amazing. But mm. like, it was just basically taking that gameplay and kind of. I think that's. I don't know. I, I, is that I, like unfair? Yeah, I think Assassin's Creed Two and Brotherhood are two are like the best de like no, design games in the past generation. I, I love think, those games. Like they, they completely like Prince of Persia. The games were were linear third person action games. True. Assassin's Creed was a like was on the cusp of the first like open world video games. Like before that, true, those yeah. didn't really exist, uh, or at least taking that f sort of linear progression storyline and placing it in an open world. Um, but the story, I just remember being really, I like, I was very captivated by the story yeah, too. Yeah, Ezio's one was was fine, like it was yeah. a little bit messy. His I think. trilogy. Yeah, uh, no, uh, sorry, um, Altair's, man, I mean, it was a little bit messy, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Ezio's trilogy was, I think, well, up until Revelations was just a, maybe a bit too much. Yeah. That's when they started getting into this weird annualized franchise territory. Did you ever see that, the short film they released, like, it was like an animated film where they conclude Ezio's story, and no. he meets the, don't, uh, don't tell him no spoilers, don't. Well, no, I'm not going to spoil anything, but... Does he meet Jupiter it, or something? Or? No, he meets the, um, the lead character in the, um... Uh, Assassin's Creed China Chronicles, or whatever, oh, really? or, or, or Chronicles China, yeah. yeah really? Wow. Xiao Jun, maybe, is her name? Hey, so they meet, it's interesting. What's up, bro? Hanging out with my bro. It was a cool animated short, you can go on YouTube and watch it, it's oh, yeah. good. Yeah, I'll, I'll, look, I'll look for questions here. I have Time a question, what's the rating part for? Uh, that basically yeah. goes back to Ubisoft. Like, they, well, they have metrics for how much people enjoy 
each level. Yeah, that's cool. That's interesting. Oh, look. It's an ugly woman. What's this? You're not a woman. You're not a woman You're at a all. You're a dude. <laughs> <laughs> he needed to see the top of his head, the mustache. He had no general. idea. He's like, what? I the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was I, I, facial animation and stuff is super spot it's on. Good. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. I like it. What are they talking about? I don't know. This is how it will work. The Fry Twins, though. They know what's up. I will give you the names of criminal okay, gang members. Okay, we're going to go assassinate people. You Got it. Assassin's Creed. Bring them back to me. Quietly. Do it quietly, Danny. Quiet then I'm going to be Evie. Very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. <laughs> <And> now, <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. That is the weird thing about this is like, again, you can pick whoever you want to play with, but then when you start certain missions, it's always either... Oh, is it really? Like, well, I don't... I, I, in the first couple hours, it's either Jacob or Evie that you're starting with at uh, some point. Well, that's the tutorial stuff. I wonder if like in these open world missions, Maybe. if that's more... Because less, apparently less they each have their own kind of... Uh-oh, uh-oh, I ran straight in by accident. Oh, I ran straight in by accident. You're fine. That's on Wait, me. Wait, what happened? Yeah. Okay. Oh, kidnapping. I did this yet last night. When unexpected, this is uh, funny, behind by the way. enemy, press circle to kidnap them. Uh, move. Uh, okay, to move them around. So you, you walk up really slowly behind the guy. Yeah, I, after yeah, you kill these people after first. I, after I dis, dis a fucking peer. You, you can fight all of them. They, they, oh, God, you shot me, you jerk hole. Just fight them all. Show them the counters. There's a counter. Yep. Hit circle when circle appears over their head. Yep. I mean, it's like as bad as really There you go, boom. Is that cop the gonna cop help me or not? With you? I can't tell. What do they call them? Boobies? Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby. He's gonna hit me with his trenchant. Oh, yeah, that oh, guy just straight up dead. murdered a cop. Yeah. He's a cop killer now. Hit in square. Hit in square. Hit in square. Uh, let me look for any more questions here. This guy's fucking dead. Mm. These right. guys just bitch. They need to change their tampon. Dude, why do you say those comments? Sorry. <laughs> I, it's just one of those things where you just see it and you're like, read it out loud. You gotta by read them all and then pick out the ones you wanna talk about. You can tell I don't do this very often. <laughs> all right, look at this guy. This guy hasn't noticed the dead body he just walked over. <laughs> he just walked over this guy's dead body. Oh, I just pulled out a gun. He also didn't notice that. Okay. This guy deserves to be kidnapped because he's clearly an idiot. Oh, and I can recruit you. Yeah, he's a. Oh, I'm sorry. He's your buddy. You're my bro. Got it. Do I have to restart this mission? Is that what's happening? Did you find a guy? I killed a bunch kill of people him? and I imagine he ran away. He's yellow. He'll be like highlighted in yellow. Something Unless tells me. Unless you killed him. Which is possible. I mean, I definitely fucked up that mission. Like that's... Yeah. Goes so you, without you saying. get up to a vantage point and then you can highlight him. And yeah, I think you... He's just somewhere in this world. Well, no, now. I think the mission... <laughs> it's not over yet because I'm still in it. Oh, you are? But yeah, but I don't know where it doesn't the dude say, is. I think you're done, because it doesn't give you any mission objective. Yeah, but look, there's no mission to pick otherwise. Oh, oh yeah. So I don't know. Maybe yeah. we're both wrong. Or both right. Or one hold. I can tell that guy to go places. Yeah, I think maybe I need to restart this mission. How do I even do that? And in there. Resume Progression confirm. log. Ugh. This is confusing. Hello, person I'm supposed to kidnap. I think you killed him, man. Is it that guy? <laughs> Wait, is he, is he yellow? I don't think so. Okay. Oh well. You yeah, can't I can't restart see. it. I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're stuck in this level forever, Ty. Set marker. I'll see if I can answer any more questions here. I'll vet them this time. <laughs> <laughs> filter out the garbage. Whee! Doink. Ooh, can I buy this meat? Is this guy is my friend? You're my friend. Oh. I wish you could start that mission over there. Yeah, I'm trying you to You can't do that. You have to be able to do that. I'm trying to figure that shit out. I'm going to take it out on this guy. Let's go That's shoot fine. him in the back of the head. Oh, kidnap! Oh, kidnap! There you go. Uh oh, you just killed him, didn't you? Oh, so I have to kidnap anyone. Got it. Okay, my bad. I need to just kidnap a person. Did you just? Is that guy dead? <laughs> yeah, that guy's dead. So I gotta. Sorry, it's my. It, okay, I figured it out. I thought it was a specific person you had to kidnap, but maybe you can't just kidnap anybody. Okay. I know that again. You walk it really slowly. You hit like R one, and then you like 
you um, you hold your knife against their back. Great. And you can guide them to a carriage and put them in there. Okay, so or you I can gotta, knock them out. Here we go. Here we go. Can I kidnap you? There you go. All right. What's happening over there? That looks interesting. So what I gotta do? I just gotta walk think, them around. I think you are also in stealth at this point too. Like you're not gonna attract any guards. Restrain. Do you see I can put him in a carriage? Well, in the mission I played, you put him into a carriage and then that and then you drove that carriage somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea what to so do with this. So I I still think you failed that mission or it just stopped. But whatever. You can just walk around with this this, <laughs> this handsome bloke. <laughs> and this dude walking behind me. <laughs> What's going on? Well he you recruited him. He's gonna follow you. Yeah, but he could at least stay like more than five yards behind no, me. Man, you know? He has your back. Stop being weird, bro. Making sure nothing's going on. All right, we. Ha I see the. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just kill this guy because whatever. Yeah. Don't okay, care. that's uh, brutal. I Four see. Minutes. I see. There's a red circle back where I was, so maybe I can go back there and do it again. Yeah, I can see the guy's back. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people are asking if this is better than Unity or runs better, and I would say yes. The yeah. stuff I played, and I was playing on Xbox One um, last night. It seems like it's a bit before. more modest in terms of graphics as well. It feels like, like it's it's not bad look, you know. It's not. Well, it's a good looking game. Yeah, it's fine. but it yeah. feels like it's maybe. Yeah, a there bit, you go. Okay, you have to the kidnap that dude. Yeah, that's cool. It just resets. Homer Dalton. Okay. Dalton's a super. So you can go in, go in the bushes. Guy? Go in the bushes. Are oh, the leaves? No, it's hay. Okay. So make sure. Okay, now you just creep up behind him, slowly. Oh, he found you. Alright, we got it. Oh, now you have oh, to... Oh, great. I got it. Damn it! I like how he's just sitting there now. Shoot that guy. Yeah, he's just sitting there. He's just chilling there. He's it's really weird. Run. So a bunch he's of... He's like, hey, I'm not gonna run away. I'm just gonna sit here and watch you beat the shit out of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my buddy's helping. That's good. Yeah. Uh, it's really weird. A, b a bunch of the, like, most Break of the... Most of the um, thugs all look like the same dude, like this bald dude, whereas this guy just looks like that dude but with hair. You, you know what I mean? Like all the ladies, yeah, are, all the like lady Jason assassins Tatham. look the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, all right. The common anonymous to complete the objective just by shooting the, people, probably. I think if you hop in the trees, you can or bushes, you become anonymous, or Shoot. just kill somebody. Okay, now you can get him. I keep. Oh, God damn it. Wait, now you have to kill a cop? Uh, killing cops is like video game 101. Shit. Oh! <laughs> he fucked you up. I was trying to shoot him. All right, all right. Let's. We probably need to restart this anyway because I arsed it up. So. Okay. So, a little tidbit. Yeah. Last night I played with the new Xbox One Elite controller. Okay. That thing is amazing. That yeah, is, but the it's best con is it 150 goddamn dollars? No. But it's the best controller I've ever played with in my life. <laughs> it would want to be for 100. It's so good. It's. It feels like. I wish that was what the Xbox One controller really was, and not $150. It makes no sense, but... You want to be elite? That's great. Uh, we're playing on PlayStation 4 There's no well. multiplayer in this one at all, guys. Yeah. They took it out. They didn't use Sounds it. Sounds multiplayer. I love we got that question. Uh, kill all the bobbies. I'm, tr I'm trying to not kill all the bobbies right now. My problem is I keep killing all the bobbies. You fought the law and the law won. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Where is he going? What's he even, what's he even attacking at this stage? He is attacking. Oh, my, my lag oh, your, is your, just... your buddy is getting, he's getting ganged up. You might want to help him. Oh, wait. There's the guy you have to get. Yeah, I'm trying to like... Wait, no. Is that him? All right, here we go. I think it's a side mission where you tackle him and get like... No, this is the mission. I just need to catch up with him. That's all. All right, here we go. Here we go. Is it? Oh, it is the same dude. You're right. Yeah, okay. Okay, so hopefully I can do it without... Getting He's the attention slow. of all these jerks. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you missed, Evie, you <laughs> idiot. You'll never be a rugby player. There you go. Good. You got it. You can show us the customization menu. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so now you have to guide him to a carriage. I think it's the other way. Yeah, but I'm, there's too many guards over that way, so I'm going to bring him this way. I think you're Stop stealth, okay. though, when you're with somebody right, like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, yeah, there it is. You can see your goal. Oh, right that's there. the carriage? Okay. I think that's the carriage. Or that might be where you have to take him. Get off me! Because that feels like it's a long this way away. I'm tapping X to restrain him when the game says tap X to restrain. Get off me! Can I go faster? I can. Okay. Yeah. And again, the mission I had, there was a carriage. So I don't know where that is, but whatever. I'm gonna make this guy run a bit long faster. There's another police officer. So I'll be quiet around the police officer. 
And then book it when I'm possibly zombies. Like, I, I gotta la, la, la. hand it to Evie. She's, I mean, that guy's a lot bigger than her. Yeah, she's she's using like cough McGraw or something. Yeah, you know, whatever she's, you call that stuff. What's going on? Keep channeling moving. her inner Chuck Norris and has this guy. Okay, these people are my friends. Out of my way, kids. Kids, get out of the way. Kids, get out of. Kids, get out of the fucking way. Kids. They are just not budging. No. Kids and. I don't want to hurt you. You got them. Industrial area got them. don't fuck about. All right, where is this? Over here, 240 meters. <laughs> Look at this little scamper this guy's doing. La, 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 la. Does this game or even the series now have any purpose, server purpose, in this industry? Good questions, Ty. You can do it. Good <laughs> questions. I thought that was good, actually. I thought he was talking about the story. Does it serve a purpose? Yeah. I mean, a financial purpose, yeah, yes, probably. Yes, 100%. Like, yeah, like, I'm sure fan, some fans probably, this game still sells millions to people somewhere. Uh, but, yeah, like, the annualization of this means that, that they can't really reinvent the wheel every single time they do it, which is a big shame, because I think that's what people like us and fans who are watching this on, on streams is what they, they want, because we're like big enthusiast gamers. Whereas I think this game appeals to a more mainstream crowd, which maybe doesn't- 100%. Isn't as- You should just recruit this guy while you got this guy oh, captured. Fuck, yeah, right. There you go, now he's your boy. I'm, I might have- you're almost, you're almost there, man. Like, this is not a fun mission. Again, like, you did it. Drag you're supposed to be in a carriage, man. There's a carriage right by there. Oh, you really? You throw him in, yes. You oh, throw him fuck. in the carriage, All right. and then you drive him to this location. All right, so that's my fault. I don't think you're supposed to be doing it this way. Walking in the hole. <laughs> like, it's fun. I'm getting, like, a power trip out of it. They're I'm, asking like, about the animus stuff. I haven't seen it, if it's in this game yet, so. Yeah, there's some, like, real-world stuff, but that's under embargo, so we can't show it, but... Um, it hasn't been, I haven't been walking, it's only been cutscenes. I uh, have not been walking around uh, a world in first person a la the last game. So this is cool, this is easier because it's like, this is my part of town. Wait, where's the, where's the thing gone? Where's the carriage gone? There, I, wait. It's that marker, right? You Where? Take him to? That green marker right there. See that little, on the far left? Oh, there it's 66, 66 meters, meters away, okay, yeah, okay. take him there. No, anyway, in the, in the original part, you put him in a carriage, you drive him there, and then I forgot what happens, but yeah. So you're not acting an idiot like I am. Uh -oh. No. Uh-oh, did they notice? You're fine. Just, you're, you're so close at this point, just walk him over there. Yeah, there you go. Let's make sure there's no one else. No, we're good, all right. So it's a carriage just like that. Yay! Yeah, and you got him there. So you got a bounty, you got some money. Thank you. You're welcome, Frederick, rate this activity. Thank you for your feedback. Oh, all right. Let's let's not do another mission. How about we just faff about somewhere? Should we? What was it? Jump in front of a train? Somebody said. Uh, Should we try and get onto the you train? You can get track? on top of trains. I don't know if you can jump on. I don't. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. So maybe. Just Where's the train go. in here? Is that the, it right there? Liverpool Street stuff is over here. Okay. Oh, is there one a little bit closer? Are we near this one? Oh yeah, we're near this one. We're right beside this one. Oh, it's right there. All right, let's do it. Let's leave a marker. Let's go. Go, Evie. It's go. Right above us. Right there. Nice. Hey, drunk guys. I thought the, there were some cool train moments in the beginning there. All right, there you go. Now get on top of that, like, overhead. I could be waiting thing, a while, though, right? right? I don't know. See how long it waits. Let's run towards the train station. <laughs> <laughs> whenever there oh, was... I'll find good questions to answer here. No worries. Whenever there was somebody who... Whenever the, like, tube, like, ran over someone, which happened a lot on my line, the central line... Oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, the the announcer would say uh, the, oh, train, nice. the train the nice, train is late nice, nice. the train is late due to person stuck under train. They actually would say that. Yeah. Oh, nice way to go, man. That was impressive. All right, Don't fall off. You sure? I like that. Parkour down. <laughs> I think she's scared. All right, so where's this so, train gonna go? Let's just find out. Just take it for a ride. All right. Let's go through. Let's let's just explore London on a train. Right on top of that smokestack. I bet it's really hot on top of that thing. Yeah. It wouldn't let me get there. Oh, can we go in You can the go passengers? inside the train, yeah. You can go in there. Hey, passengers. That's pretty cool. Hello, drop. everybody. Everyone's just what chilling. if I just do this? Well, like, where are they going to go? Good point. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Next gen, motherfuckers. Just, can you shoot? Are you loading up? Look at this child. Well, the kid is through the seat right there. Oh. Yeah, sit down. Yeah. What happened? He just... He just disappears now. Interesting. 
If Jesus you kill Christ. one more civilian, you will desynchronize. Jesus Christ. Okay. Assassin's Creed. He's putting coal in there. I'm gonna put coal inside of his brain. <laughs> oh, come on! Desynchronized. Assassins did not kill civilians, Danny. That's horse, that's yeah. horse bullshit right there. They were very fair people. All right, any more requests? Uh, Thing spot. Um, let me just read this real quick. I noticed the counter buttons uh, again. Have they made any combat improvements at all? We were talking about this earlier, but because now, because at this point in history, nobody walked around with like swords hanging off their belts. Mm. Uh, everything is now fist fighting with hidden weapons now. So the, the combat has, I guess, <laughs> simplified. <laughs> yeah, it still feels super mushy yeah. though. At least at this stage, like who knows? Maybe when we unlock more stuff, but. Right at the gate, it doesn't seem that compelling. They want to see the uh, customization stuff again. All right. You can just shut it real quick if you want to. Yeah. You, you have more skill points, so you can spend that stuff. Um, let me see. Let me see about kit as I can well. I tell there are a lot of trolls now in the chat room. Don't even say that. I'm you don't not. even need to. Uh, all right, inventory. What we got? Here's my stuff. Upgrade my gauntlets. Upgrade my gun. Upgrade my cape. Gives cape me more books. stealth. Colors. I can change my colors. Buy some colors. Look at all these colors. $1,000 for this shit. Or pounds. So a thousand pounds now would be what, like, like seventeen hundred dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's like back in eighteen whatever. So that's probably eighteen sixty eight. So yeah, that's. I probably spent like fifty thousand. Five hundred thousand dollar <laughs> jacket you got there. Where uh, you go? Scales. So you oh, got one skill point. You can use. Slayer. Listen to Slayer while you fight. That Anything. would be awesome if that was true. Near death state. If you hit them ten times, I'll do that. Especially with her because she like hits people so fast. Um. Let's see what's in the e-store. Buy Helix credits. Additional in-game currency. You can expense all that if you want. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Get in-game currency. I'll approve it. Get crafting resources. You can just buy everything now, eh? Wait, they really... Wait, so can you hit... All buy right. that. All right, let's see figure. what happens. Well, buy this. What Here, is it? hit X. Helix. I have zero Helix. Okay. Not enough Helix, Helix credits. credits. Would you like to buy some? Yes. You can use my credit card. Go yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, Tay, wait in the back, all right? Keep oh, it's going to take you to the store. Oh, it's not oh, there yet. Okay. All right. It's not for sale Clearly yet. Clearly, there's microtransactions in this game. So we don't know how much they are. Unlock maps. What? Oh, you can unlock crafting plans. Wait, oh, so man. can you really just buy yourself to like be a badass looks, in this game? Looks like it. Can I not buy any Helix credits? It doesn't say. So we don't know what the... We don't know what the... What the so that hasn't been unlocked so yet. They so they haven't explained what this is all yeah. about yet. Ubisoft okay. Club freaked me out because I was like, all right, you guys already have Uplay and you have a game called The Crew and now it's Ubisoft Club, Club. and it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Wait, what's this? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't show this. Maybe we're not allowed to show that. I don't know. I don't know. This <laughs> just in case. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what should we do? Well, one more thing before we, we wrap this thing up. I love My favorite part of this game is browsing around London. Like just it's really faffing crazy. about. Stealing carriages. Knock yeah, that guy it. off. Yeah, all three you of you just ruined that guy's perfectly great code. There was a girl Knock in the back over of Lamp posts, why not? Good move, by the way. I always <laughs> like the ride carriages on the sidewalk, too. It's this, great. This reminds me of, remember Die Hard's trilogy on the PlayStation yeah. 1? Yeah, this, you go first person and it's just like blood wiping on the windshields. Remember that? <laughs> Look at this shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Ram! Oh, I rammed it. Yeah, you can ram people. Yeah, you can just hit square That's and like, ram into people. And like, your <laughs> carriage even takes a little bit of damage. Yeah, do you see it? It like side swipes. Like yeah, the horse again. makes a jump just across. keep going. Like, and uh, there's no consequences uh, to this. Oh, wait, no, there are people chasing you, I think. But whatever, screw it. Who cares? Boom! Go, Eevee. Knock over this lady. Oh, I missed her. <laughs> Look at the devastation left behind you us. You are a monster. Uh, any... Oh, look. Requests. Can you run a carriage into a train? Uh, I don't think we can get on the train. To oh, uh, God, there's a border. There's internet. The video games is happening right there. Um, <laughs> I don't think we can get the train, the carriages on the, the train tracks. Track, yeah, because yeah. they're all elevated. Uh, no, it is not 60 FPS. We have established that. Um, I mean, you can go to Buckingham Palace. Do you want to go to Buckingham Palace? Yeah, go. Try and murder the Queen. Maybe we'll do that. I mean, right now, Ireland is still under foreign rule, so I'm all about assassinating the Queen right now. <laughs> <laughs> the 1860s. Your true Irish is coming out now, yeah. it's great. Yeah. I mean, we're cool now, but back then, English people were doing some not cool shit to no. my folks, so. Uh, we're, this is Green Park here, best named park in the world. Uh, I think it is, are we in Vicky Park, or are we? 
Yeah, okay. Unconquered so. Westminster. So that's, yeah, so Buckingham Palace is here. Okay, let's go so see the Queen. Going down God to, save the Queen. I've actually been through this park, I think. Yeah, I think it's pretty big this. Grabbing through it's trees. Lovely. It's great. Everyone's what is anyone else playing cricket? You guys playing cricket here? They are, they're playing cricket. Easy go. Let's watch them playing cricket. Don't so mind what me. Is with, what is with the English and cricket? It's like, a sport. It's like saying what's with the Americans and baseball. I know, but like I'm, well, I'm, I'm not talking shit about cricket. I'm just <laughs> curious about cricket and like the history of it. Uh, Do you know anything time, about it? Um, like it's an English sport, and then they export it to the rest of the world, and now the rest of the world beats them at it. I know it's really big in India. <laughs> yeah, it's big in India, big yeah. in Australia, big in like South Africa. Um, I mean, clearly, or somewhat. Big, it was before baseball, right? Oh like yeah, like cricket was before baseball. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I imagine there's some sort of like lineage there with that. Yeah, it has to be. I mean, yeah, you hit the stumps, you hit the hit the but ball. That's what I'm saying. What are the rules? Like, okay, that little that that wicket thing or whatever. Yeah, there's that, two of them. See, there's one yeah. up there and so one there. So if he hits here. that, he hits. So he's the the guy's yeah. pitch the pitcher or bowler. Bowler. Can't believe we're doing this. And um, <laughs> he's trying to hit the stumps. <laughs> okay. To get that guy out. Out. Got so it. it's it's like getting three strikes in one. So goal. if he hits it. Guy's out. The guy. Yeah. No, but no. And if the batter is that what they call him? If what the, they call the, him? Yeah, the whatever. Let's the say hitter. yeah, batter. Yeah. If he if hits he, it, he's gonna try and run between the two wickets. And he, every time oh, he runs, it's a he score. gets a point. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Okay. So he runs back and forth yeah. between the two. Get but it. it's also okay. like home run thing where if he hits it and then that dude in the background catches it without a bouncing, he's also he's out. out. Yeah. Okay. So how many outs? Baseball. One and you're gone. One. But then how many outs until the other oh, team? Oh, like ten. Okay. You've got ten. Got ten okay. batters go out. Oh, he's hit it. Oh, he's out. He hit the wickets. He hit the wickets. He hit the wickets. Nice. Did he? He did, yeah. So they've come off. So you're out, motherfucker. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go see the queen. Let's go. <laughs> so that's the rule of base. That's the final rule. So is that you get murdered if you. See, you thought you were going to tune into the stream and, and you found that you got a lot of good information about not just London, but about cricket. Yeah. And now we're in fucking Buckingham Palace, man. And apparently back in the 1800s, if you lost in cricket, you got, you iced. got shot. Yeah. So. You got iced. <laughs> Someone's shooting at so someone must be aiming at you right now. Yeah, so hopefully I can get comes. to the top of the pod yeah, yeah, before. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, let's oh. see here. All right, we're here. Nobody's noticed. I wonder if there's a synchronization point up here. It's my favorite part of playing these games is the synchronization points. Yeah, just like finding them and like climbing yep, the top got, of dumb that buildings. One? I don't know. There's a yeah. Yes. Good job. Check me out. I'm on. I'm the Queen of England. I'm the Queen of England! So that's Buckingham Palace. That's Buckingham Palace. And so the Queen's there. Yeah, we're on top of it. Can we go find her? See the big man over there? Yeah. We can try. Do you want to try and find her? I doubt you can find and kill Who the Queen. Who is the Queen at this time? I don't know. Queen... Someone tell me in the chat. Margaret Blau of blah blah blah. It was before the German... It was before the Germans Victoria? took over. You know like the current... Clearly before the Germans took over. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, you know the current like Queens are... What are they called again? They're called the... Uh, they renamed themselves in the 1910s. The Queens? The, the current royal family is of German lineage. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, so I they, had no idea. They renamed themselves in the 1920s Wait, or 10s because they were like. Because so, they were all. Yeah, so what are they called now? The House of whatever it is? I, whatever it is. That's like a. That's not really. I'm sure the chat. So Victoria was the Queen during this time. Oh, oh really? Okay. That makes sense. The Victorian era. I get it. <laughs> okay. All right, let's jump down. We killed some of these. Uh, Wait, so. The Queen, oh, okay, the, the, what, Colin Firth in the King's Speech, he yeah. was Queen George, or King George? Yeah, that was like... Was that like, that's like it was the, after this, I know, yes. but like, was he the, the same line, though, right? Well, I wonder, Clearly, actually, yeah. Right, yeah. Let's shoot this guy. Jesus Christ, how many times do I have to shoot these guys? Just keep, oh, 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 <laughs> you're getting fucked up. Oh, my God, he fucked you up. Okay, wow. All right, shall we, shall we leave it there? I think we should probably... All right, that's, uh... <laughs> That's Assassin's Creed Syndicate right there. Uh, out this Friday on PlayStation 4. And PlayStation Xbox One. One. On Xbox is One. It, is it coming out the PC? Yes, PC version yeah. is coming out November 14th, I believe. Um, okay, we'll have a review up on GameSpot.com later this week. November 19th. 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 Okay, PC. so yeah. uh, once, all, once Fallout 4 is already out. We out have, we'll have a graphics comparison today. Okay, cool. So you can see which one you want to buy. Between, or you can fight. Between the two console versions? About which ones you like better, yeah. yeah. Um, Two consoles. And uh, yeah, review will be up uh, soon enough, I'm sure. Uh, Let's Korea. If you just joined in, we uh, sorry. If you just joined, tuned in, um, we'll have uh, this will all be up on our uh, YouTube channel and on Gamespot, of course. Um, so you can watch the entire playthrough. Uh, you might have missed certain parts, like we climbed to the top of Big Ben. Yes, we fun. did. We explored uh, uh, Westminster. I tried to shoot that child. You did. You I got was... into a train, shot, or you actually made a child sit. 
By shooting. By shooting yeah. him. You, oh. you, oh, you, uh, you stalked a bathroom full of uh, dead bodies. Yeah, I, I stabbed the landlord in the face. You did? Or the shopkeeper. Yeah. Yeah, in the face. Uh, you explained to me the rules of cricket. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. Yeah, exciting. and then we did, and we uh, we drove. We did in the carriage. We crashed everywhere. And yeah, so you can watch great. all that yeah. and more on GameSpot.com. Thanks so much, Eric Tay, coming in super early, setting us up. Uh, thank you, Ty. We got a meeting. Thank to you, go Danny. Do, uh, Absolutely. To see what's going on in the rest of the week on GameSpot. So we're out of here. Thanks for watching, Airplaying, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Adios. Later.